when Steve Irwin was, was stung with a stingray, I was on, on board and had been for a couple of days with Steve. And what appears to have happened is Steve swum over the back of the stingray. From the animal's point of view, is a big shape coming over the top of it. Big shape in the water normally means big predator. It was not the stingray's venom that actually killed Irwin. It was the puncture wound from the ray's spine. There's another venomous Australian spider that resides far beyond the city limits, the redback, and it's notorious for lurking in dark, dry places, often right under your nose. In Australia, more antivenom is used to treat redback spider bite than all other bites combined, including snake bite. It's a very common problem, with probably greater than a thousand cases receiving antivenom every year. And this species is also well-traveled, They've a fondness for long-haul luggage, and they've found themselves 7,000 kilometers away in the port of Osaka, Japan. It arrived on the Osaka docks probably around 1994 and quickly spread so that by 1996, there were probably maybe hundreds of thousands of redback spiders in Osaka. I found higher concentrations around the dock area than you normally see even in Australia. Back in his North Australian lab, Jamie Seymour takes a closer look at these spider venoms. 